In Ravi, in this week's parasha, Vayer Avram and Sarah settle in the city of Grar, where tragically Sarah is kidnapped and taken to the city's king, Avimelech. In a dream, HaKadosh Baruch Hu warns Avimelech, saying, Hinacham mate, you're going to die because of the woman you've taken, because she is an eshet ish. She's a married woman. God then instructs him, Vata shev eshet ish. Return the man's wife, Kinavihu, because he is a prophet. And he will pray on your behalf so you will live. This phrase, Kinavihu, is somewhat problematic because it seems to imply that if Avram Avinu wasn't a prophet, that Avimelech would not have to return Sarah to her husband. One possible explanation, therefore, is that Akodesh Borchu is telling Avimelech, Return this woman, and because he is a Navi, he will pray on your behalf, and you will be forgiven. However, the Gemara Bava Kama and Daftzadi Betam and Aleph offers a different answer. It suggests Ki Navi, who for he is a prophet, is how Hakodesh Baruch Hu responds to Avimelech's claim of innocence, that he didn't know that Sarah was actually Avram Avinu's wife because. Avram Avinu presented her as his sister. Therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes back to Avimelech and says, Avram is a Navi. And because he's a Navi, he knew what you would have done had you been told the truth. You would have killed him and you would have taken his wife anyways. And therefore, Ki Navi, who he had no choice but to misrepresent the relationship between him and Saram. However, of Hirsch, looks at this pasuk and adds one more dimension to it by asking the question, why was it necessary to have all of this information, all of that information in a single pasuk? What is the reason of Hashev Eshetaish and Kinavihu? According to Rav Hirsch, the command of Hashev implies more than just a physical return of Sarah to Avraham. It requires an apology. It requires Avimelech to accept that he was wrong and dishonored. Avram Avinu's position, his kivod nevuato, the honor of his prophecy, and therefore the eshet ish highlights the relational respect due to Avraham as Sarah's husband, and as a prophetic figure, requires Avimelech to apologize to Avraham, to reconcile with him. In a similar but somewhat different vein, Rav Yaakov Mecklenburg in his Ketav Kabbalah says that Hashev is not only return, but is a call for Hashketu Margoa, for calm and peace. Drawing on a pasuk in Yeshayahu, Beshuv Avanacha Tevasheun, that you'll be saved with stillness and quiet, Rav Mecklenburg suggests that Hashev in this context implies not just restoring Sarah, but also making peace and seeking forgiveness with her. Both answers, as I mentioned, are similar, but with one important distinction. Rav Hirsch believes that Avimelech's apology should focus on Avraham, on the dishonor of Avraham, the lack of the kavod hanavi, while Rav Mecklenburg emphasizes the need to appease Sarah directly.